In this video, we're going to be looking at the Liquify and the uh, Fractal Engine inside of Rebel 6 Pro. Now, Rebel 6 Pro is a very unique program. This is the only program in the world that uses this type of technology to do uh, the Liquify process. And so we're going to look at that, the different ways that we can use that, and compare it kind of to what's been out there before. Now, a quick look at this. Um, in the past, when you would use the uh, smudge or liquify tools, what you'd have to do is you'd go into a separate section and then outside of your canvas you'd be using the liquify tool in order to change things. And uh, then you'd go back to the canvas is not a, a traditional tool. Now in Rebel 6 Pro, this is a full tool, a tool that you can have brush uh, shapes and textures and you can modify inside of the brush creator all the different settings for it. It does a lot of different things that you can't do if this were a separate window. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, one of the things I really like about this tool is that if I use it, notice right here, this is not usable. This is smudge. So we're going to undo that and we're gonna look at the Liquify tool. Liquify uses the Fractal Engine. So let's go ahead and we're going to bring the brush size down. So we're going to use the tool here and I'm going to push the nose and what you're going to see is this remains a usable shape. We're not losing the fidelity of the image by modifying it. So I can I can push and adjust this and you can see that we've got a very usable image at the end. Now this I've never been able to use a smudge uh, tool, anything like this in the past, and and had it retain hair. So you try and use something on hair, and the hair is absolutely ruined uh, after the fact, and that is not the case with this tool. I love this because in the past, uh, if I were doing something, what I would have to do is I would have to uh, redo all the different sections, or I would end up using the lasso select tool I would make a lasso selection uh, and then I would have to uh, transform it. I would move it around the canvas and then I would fill it in. I would make all sorts of different adjustments in order to make this a usable uh, thing. And it would cause problems and it was so time consuming. Now, if I see, I look at the eye, I'm like the eye is too far to the left. Well, I can just move it to the right. That fast, that easy, and it looks fantastic moved over. Again, it doesn't destroy your artwork to modify it, which is something that used to happen in the past. All right, let's zoom out a little bit and let's look at these tools independently. This one is Liquify Push. Now the same exact tool, if we change it to Spiky 2 or Spiky, is going to have a very different effect than the Soft, Soft Fast, the Flat, so keep in mind, if you want a different effect, you can get a different effect using a different brush head uh, shape and grain in order to do that. We're gonna look at the soft one all the way through here. Now liquify expand, liquify pinch. And again, this can give you actually usable results by pinching in in specific areas. Again, very usable. Now if I want to do push left, now if I go down, it's going to push right. If I go up, it's going to push left. So we could move something across the canvas and adjust it. Here we have twirl. smooth. So let's twirl this and then smooth it. And then here we have reconstruct. So let's twirl the nose and then reconstruct it. I think that's really cool. Now here you can bake the changes. So whatever we've done, anything we've done, we're going to make it a permanent change 
so we can continue working on it without keeping all of the uh, changes in the system memory, which is nice, keeps it nice and fluid and uh, lighter on your system resources. Okay, so now let's look here at transform and we're going to choose warp. Now we can choose how many of these we want. We're going to increase the size to a grid of, let's do a grid of five. Okay, now we can pull and using the fractal engine, we can really rapidly make changes here to the shape. All right, and I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Let's pinch that in just a little bit. Let's click OK. Let's look at the quality of the image. So as we zoom in, while we may not like all of the shapes, you can see that it was done very, very nicely. Quite different here um, from the original. Now the work tool always uses the fractal engine Transform, you can choose between bilinear, nearest, or fractal. Fractal is the best option by far. If you have questions about the fractal engine used in Rebel 6 Pro, please put that in the comment section. Uh, we're happy to answer those questions for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.